All right, so people have been asking, you know, how does flex work in a heated chamber, a flex tap? <clears throat> and so um, I got a flex tap on here right now, as you guys can see, right there. Let's go this way, right there. Um, it's been in here, been running. It's only got about maybe 100, 150 hours on it. The chamber is around 57C. Uh, build plate printing ABS, ASA in here. Um, after about, I would say 20 hours of printing, I was getting um, issues where it wasn't uh, homing correctly, it wasn't triggering right. So what I did is I put this thing up, um, you know, move the head up to about 100, up about here or whatever got in underneath it for that screw that goes all the way through and I just loosened it a bit and then you know push on the tool head make sure you can hear the click 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 and uh, so I loosened it just to hear that click and it's been fine so it was one adjustment roughly 20 hours in on a 50 ish somewhere around there chamber on my trident back here um, I have maybe about the same amount of time. So this is only printing PLA in this guy. Same amount of time. Um, you know, the, the flex tap back here. Haven't had to adjust it at all. So for PLA, it's not getting any heat really. It's getting the bed and that's about it. No adjustment after about, let's say 50 hours-ish running this thing. The ABS one, the heated chamber, after about 20 hours, I've needed to adjust it, but after that, it seems to be working fine. So that's kind of the update for FlexTap for you guys that are running it.